So I go to the emergency room. They tested me. Hey guys, good morning. Welcome back to my channel. My name is Makisha. If it's your first time here, go ahead and subscribe. So today this video is going to be just a little bit different. I'm doing a daily vlog. Today is Sunday, July 19th, by the way. For the first half of the day, it's already 11 o'clock. So the morning is pretty much done. I already like washed my face and stuff like that, brushed my teeth. All that good stuff been up for about an hour already so if you guys don't know I am natural so I've been struggling with like kind of like curl definition without product so this is supposed to help so when you apply product when you do have to apply product to your hair your hair just behaves and your curls just pop so this is day number five I've done this four days straight It's a seven day challenge so I have been documenting it so you guys will see that um, in an upcoming video if you're interested. Um, so today's no different. The first thing I try to do is wash my hair. You're drenching your hair every day for 10 minutes in water. So it's pretty okay for me. You know, I'm home so I have no issues even when I have to go to work. Um, I live in South Florida, if you guys don't know. So it's pretty hot all year round, so I'm not gonna have an issue with like my hair drying throughout the day. Drench. Oh, let me show you guys my hair. Don't judge me, all right? <laughs> so it's still pretty defined from yesterday, but it is kind of dry, y'all. My problem area just has to be the front of my hair, just my luck, but yeah. When I come back, you guys will see how these curls are truly popping and so I'm not supposed to touch so I'm not gonna touch anymore but here's how it looks so right now it's 11 45 I'm gonna go make me a quick breakfast and then um tune into church service for 12 noon let's go Hey guys, so now I'm outside about to have my breakfast. Let me show you guys my breakfast. My toast, my omelet. I have blueberries and some cherries here. And I also have a glass of orange juice. Let me just show you guys my view. There's a lake there and there's one over here. The noise is not too much. Um, the church service just started. Right now it's just worship so let me show you guys I'm watching it on Facebook so I'm just gonna tune into that prop you guys up right here I'm so hot but with this hydration challenge it's good for me to be outside So, service was amazing. Definitely check out Cool Church. I feel truly rejuvenated, ready to take on my day. So, I manage my family's um, guest house in Tobago. So, if you're in Trinidad, since the borders are closed and you want to do a little local staycation, go over to Tobago, check out Eileen's Villa. The website is on the screen. You can see what dates um are available still so right now what i'm doing is i'm checking the email for the house i'm also checking airbnb um usually respond to any messages that might have come in overnight so i've been in the house y'all since july 1st okay you guys might be wondering girl like why have you been in the house since july 1st today's the 19th so on june 29th that's a monday i started having like body aches and pains and fever my sister Donna, shout out to Donna. She's like, just go to the emergency room. So I go to the emergency room. They tested me. I'll go more in depth in a, um, a different, another video. But just to brush over everything briefly, quick, quick, quick. So the Tuesday when I woke up, y'all, I felt better. Like I was like, okay, maybe it wasn't the Rona. So Wednesday, 
I'm up. I'm just still like preparing myself to go to work, just waiting for the results to come in. Y'all, the results came in and it was confirmed that I have Corona virus. Y'all, I've been so careful. Like you will not catch me outside without a mask on. Hand sanitizer in the car, Clorox wipes in the house. I have little Lysol right, wipes right here, like cleaning down everything. Just want to put it out there that I'm good. So that's going to explain why I've been stuck in the house, y'all. So I got retested on July 10th, which was a Friday. Then I got retested again on July 13th. Um, by my doctor today's the 19th y'all and I'm still waiting on those two results haven't heard anything back from those two but South Florida numbers are high okay record numbers every day I'm just waiting to see and get to see how those tests um, turned out and to see if I need to take more tests or if I'm cleared and I do work in a highly populated environment all right like highly life goes on I'm okay I'm gonna say it again, y'all just protect yourselves. Like, by all means, protect yourself, protect yourself. Social distance. I know outside is quote unquote open and there's parties and there's barbecues and there's all this stuff going on. Just protect yourself. Felt like I should share that with you guys. It's been almost three weeks that I've been in the house and your girl has been productive. So, that's the little gist of me being in the house, y'all. So I'm on Publix's website right now. I'm going to do my um an Instacart order. So I just placed the order with Instacart. Let me let you guys know what I'm getting. I'm getting red seed seedless grapes, um non-dairy ice cream, um salad mix, Caesar salad mix, um two cucumbers. Y'all, this boar's head pastrami turkey. I am in love. So I ordered a half a pound of that. Also almond milk and some Caesar dressing. Nothing big, just like some regular items. I don't pre-plan. Your girl needs to start pre-planning. I don't pre-plan. Y'all, guys, I'm also trying to come up with a name for my travel group for Trinidad Carnival. Um, I had a travel group this year for the first time and because, of course, the pandemic um carnival in trinidad next year is supposedly only like locals only so i had to cancel that and the name for this year was called makisha 86a travels i want something different so your girl is at 997 on instagram i need you guys to follow my ig if you're not following it already and the link the direct link to my instagram is always in my description bar Follow your girl. Help your girl hit this 1K, all right, and beyond. Ooh, I almost dropped you guys. That would have been a disaster. Y'all, welcome to your girl's closet, okay? It's a hot mess. <sighs> Let me tell y'all what happened, okay? Ugh. Look at my wall, y'all. Look at this wall. Look at it. Look at it. Look at it. Okay, so let me tell y'all what happened to this closet. I'm going to insert a picture so you guys can see how it looked. I was sitting on my bed and I just heard this tumbling. And I'm like, what the hell is that sound? Y'all, I looked on the floor and I see stuff like sprawled out on the floor. Do you guys see that freaking disaster? Apparently, maybe I had too much stuff on it. I don't know. It was just weak. I don't know. And I noticed after I like, cleared everything out that like these areas right here have been patched. They don't feel like the regular wall. You can tell like the difference in the um the texture that it fell before. We've been living here for a year. So I guess the previous tenant, it probably happened to them as well. So I can't have maintenance come in and fix this just yet which is frustrating because I have a lot of crap all right your girl has a lot of crap and I need that space I really need that space to put this stuff in I had this clothing rack um I used to put like my backdrops and stuff like clip it on so I'm using this clothing rack to put to like hang up most of my clothes um I have some of my like sheets and blankets 
fold it up here but yeah this is what I used to record um my videos for YouTube I used the Canon T7i by the way and then a lot of um, stuff that fell as well a lot of these boxes were on the shelf like a wig head with a stand um, my camera boxes are up here now because everything fell and then of course I'm a product junkie when it comes to hair products running kind of low right now and then down here I have all my makeup palettes your girl got a problem but whatever <laughs> so I have a lot of my makeup palettes but over here I have like some folded up sheets and stuff on the bed that I gotta figure out where what I'm gonna do with them maybe just using this shelf right here like cleaning this shelf down and then putting the sheets and stuff back on here for now just until they're able to come y'all I have dust and I don't know if I mentioned this happened uh, two days ago so not yesterday the day before I have my suitcase down here down here I have a lot of my craft stuff carnival ish okay a lot of carnival stuff down here I'm very crafty I'm gonna um tag my carnival video where I decorated Monday wear swimsuit for my sister and my cousin um little carnival tiara I did laundry earlier this morning so I need to fold up all this laundry and figure out how to get my room looking back somewhat livable y'all I need to live with it the way it is I actually have some stuff in the washing machine still I'm gonna go check on them darkness um <laughs> I have these shelves that I could probably try to like utilize to put some stuff on but I washed my bathroom mats which is the last thing that I wash so I'm just gonna go ahead and put them in the dryer pretty much done with washing oh so I created this painting in my old apartment y'all yeah, see your girl got skills look at that ocean so yeah back in the room it just feels so heavy like the room feels heavy like legit heavy I don't know if I can find somewhere else to put the clothing rack then maybe that might help it a bit was so, you guys see how my hair is air drying popping curls so I'm gonna go ahead and fold all this laundry figure out how to stack up that closet a bit because I really honestly don't know when anyone is gonna be able to be allowed in here and I'll come back to you guys when it's all done because you guys don't really want to see that stuff I know y'all don't want to see it but all right guys just a quick update I have towels and sheets all right guys so I'm just about done basically somewhat done um let me just show you guys around like what I did because it's got to work with what I have um so I still have the clothes on the clothing rack, extra items folded up and stuff underneath there. Here's my desk, good old Lysol, <laughs> put away all the clothes already, um, still have this thing, I don't even know what to call it here. Here's how the closet looks. So I can't put anything on that top shelf because the support for it fell. And then I put the sheets and towels and stuff and blankets on this bottom rack. <clears throat> Sorry about my voice. This I can work on some more. I have like my pocketbooks. Um, pocketbooks. I'm tired. I admit it. I'm tired. So this light. I don't know why it keeps doing that. But yeah. So that's the closet for now. Have you guys read this book, Becoming by Michelle Obama? Honestly, I need to like get into reading it. Um, I've had it for a while, but I just haven't read it yet. Guys, I just checked the time. Right now it's 6.38.
um it's pretty it's later than i expected it's still super bright out as you guys can see and honestly the room does feel a lot lighter i'm definitely happy with the way it feels the way it looks right now um there's nothing else really going on i have a video a hair wash and go video that i wanted to edit and put up but i have to see how i feel based on what i have to do for the rest of the night but I pretty much just want to relax. I'm feeling a little tired. That's just about it for now. I'll check in with you guys a little later. Hopefully my hair fully dries. Like all hair is like wet. All of this is wet. But the ends are dry for some reason. Let me know in the comments if you guys are willing to try this whole curl hydration. Also if you guys are looking forward to seeing the full day 1 to 7 video that I've been doing and like documenting over all this time. Let me know in the comments below. But this bed, y'all, it is calling my name. So, yeah. So, I'll see you guys in a bit. Hey, guys. So, just a look, little quick update. Right now, it's 9.30 at night. And I'm having dinner. Um, I am having a Caesar salad. And I added some cucumbers to it with Caesar dressing. Also... But I just watched um, Fatal Affair on Netflix. Definitely a nice movie. Definitely check it out. Y'all, that movie had my heart racing, okay? Comment down below and let me know if you've checked it out already and what you think about it. So I'm going to probably try to find something else to watch. And also, I'm having water with my salad. Y'all, I need to lose some weight. Help a sister out. Give a sister some tips in the comment section below because... Your girl is getting big, okay? And being home is definitely not helping the situation at all. I honestly need to drop like 40 pounds. That's like almost a whole damn person. I'm being dramatic, but it's, it's real. It's real. If you guys enjoyed this daily vlog and you'd like to see me continue doing daily vlogs like this, let me know in the comments down below. I would love to put them up. The most challenging part of it was trying to remember to pick up the camera every time there's something going on. Like my salad is like half done and I just remembered, hey, you need to vlog the salad. You need to vlog your dinner. So, yeah. So, and hopefully, like, going forward, of course, like, I'm out and about driving, going to restaurants, so just walking on the beach, like, just not being in the house, you know? So, if you guys enjoyed this vlog, maybe I could do weekly vlogs or, you know, compile some stuff together, just let me know. And don't forget, don't be a stranger, okay? Leave the comments, let me know the real, okay? Any pointers, let your girl know. Any other um, suggestions, let me know, alright? Let me know. So, thank you guys so much for watching, and I'll see you guys in the next video. Good night. Off in flame, all who did not know me when I done, they gon' know the name.